Time lapse of robots in the near future, 2030 to 3000 plus. We've all heard and brushed off those crazy seeming futurists claiming that robots replace most human activities in the future. But when we look at the pace at which AI and technology are growing, the thought doesn't seem so crazy after all. Don't forget to watch today's video to the very end to not miss on a time lapse of robots in the future, 2030 to 3000. But before we begin, we request you to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to never miss another upload of ours. Having said that, let's jump right in. 2028, 2029, 2030. By this point in time, computers are expected to solve all of the problems known to the human race. We will create systems and robots which are smarter than us. According to Ray Kurzweil, one of the most known futurists, computers will have the same level of intelligence as humans by 2045. This point of evolution is called by some scientists as the singularity. Using big data, computer programs, or artificial intelligence, will be capable of analyzing massive amounts of information, identifying trends, and using that knowledge to come up with solutions to the world's biggest problems, such as hunger, diseases, climate change, overpopulation, etc. Machines will become our best friends, advisors, and caretakers. We are social beings and need other people. Yet, increasingly, many of us seem to be more comfortable dealing with people via devices rather than in person. As machines get more intelligent and can better adapt to its users, people may end up preferring to interact with machines over people. Moreover, robots and AI can provide excellent care and support for the elderly, the ill, and disabled. Autonomous vehicles also seem to be inevitable. Self-driving cars will heavily rely on machine learning and pattern recognition, areas which have been in focus over the past years. The world's leading car manufacturers predict driverless cars will be on the streets by 2020 to 2030. 2080, 2090, 2100. We can accurately predict the future based on data and high-level analytics. Learning, including machine learning, is using the past to make predictions about the future. We already have enough data and analytic systems to make fairly accurate predictions. Futurist Ray Kurzweil has already made many correct predictions about the milestones of technological growth, missing only by a year or two. For example, of the 147 predictions that Kurzweil has made since the 1990s, 127 have come true. In our daily work life, we can currently estimate finances, cash flow, turnover, etc., the need for labor, our customers' behavior, etc. In our daily social life, Facebook and Google use algorithms to try to predict what we most likely want to see in our feeds. Predicting will become extremely advanced and accurate. You might even be able to predict human behavior, who will start dating and get divorced. Will it even go to the lengths of knowing exactly what's going to happen today, tomorrow, and in 10 years' time? Then again, if we'd know the outcome, wouldn't it change the way we'd react to it? 2300, 2310, 2320. We will all become cyborgs, enhanced by technology. Our minds and bodies will be enhanced by prosthetics and implants, giving us infallible functions and motorics. Technology could cure us of deadly injuries, replace our limbs and organs, or give us sensory abilities far beyond existing vision, hearing, and manipulation. These future systems will be enabled via robotics, augmented reality, neuroscience, 3D printing, programming, material design, etc. Tech evangelist Robert Scoble and author Shell Israel explain the changes to come in their new book, The Fourth Transformation, how augmented reality and artificial intelligence will change everything. They say we will move from handsets to headsets and other wearables. Instead of a screen, you'll be able to touch and feel the computer-generated images. Virtual reality, augmented reality, mixed reality. In the far future, they predict there will be billions of people with products which will blur the lines between what's real and what's computer-generated illusion. Thomas Dykrich, president of the Association for the Advancement of Artificial Intelligence, hopes that exoskeletons, external supportive skeletons, will allow us to walk when we're old and feeble. It would be great to retain the sense of hearing and sight even as our eyes and ears fail. People have a tendency to think. Then there's us and there's computers. But I think that's not true at all. I think the human and the computer are really, really quickly becoming one tightly coupled cognitive unit. 2400, 2500, 2600. We will become superhumans, living in symbiosis with AI. Let's take a step further. Instead of being physically enhanced by technology, we will be living in a symbiosis with super-intelligent systems. We will connect our brain directly to them, thus expanding who we are. Imagine being able to access a computer thousands or even millions of times more powerful than your own brain. Human and artificial intelligence have potential to create combined systems that are smarter than either alone. 
Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX and Tesla, has been a loud opponent and pessimist of AI technologies, fearing it will blow up in our face. As a proper innovator, he's not just complaining about the risks of developing an autonomous superintelligence, he's aiming to prevent the worst case scenario. Humans must merge with machines or become irrelevant in the AI age. Elon Musk. This year, Musk's new venture, Neuralink, raised $27 million in funding to eliminate the need for physical devices and connect human brains to computers. Using implanted chips, this so-called neural lace technology would create a direct cortical interface that could be used to upload or download thoughts onto a computer, or boost a person's cognitive capacities. Other similar ventures are being considered by IBM, Brian Johnson via his kernel project, and Facebook. Many other tech leaders, including Kurzweil, are beginning to explain the same path. That instead of the machines taking over the world vision, there will be an unparalleled human-machine synthesis. Kurzweil predicts that we should be able to connect to our brains to the cloud as early as the year of 2030, and further ahead into the future, artificial intelligence will be on the same level with human capabilities. 2800, 2900, 3000. By this point in time, we will be able to upload our minds to the cloud and reach immortality. Instead of only connecting yourself to the cloud and using its resources, you will be able to upload your whole consciousness into the cloud or virtual reality. You could live out your wildest dreams and become immortal. The idea is that consciousness is the product of an individual's neural activity, and if all of the data in a brain, memories, thought patterns, etc., could be copied into a digital realm. That way, life would prolong for infinity. Sci-fi TV show Black Mirror episode San Junipero imagines a world where dying people can be uploaded to the cloud and live there forever. The futurists say that it's scientifically possible, but the episode doesn't depict the whole situation. A change or improvement in one area will most certainly have an impact on all other societal aspects. That's why San Junipero was not completely correct. Such big breakthroughs will be followed by much more radical changes in the human society. There are also some rather philosophical questions. Is the uploaded version of your brain actually a self-conscious soul or just a simulation? Will it still be you or what would be the difference? What if you have buyer's remorse or aren't able to mentally guide your bliss? Are you doomed for all eternity? Humans do not have to work anymore. Yes, instead of fearing that the robots will take our jobs, there may be a different perspective. Of course, in our current society, if someone would take our job, it would be dreadful. We fear what we do not know and cannot imagine. The way we work has changed throughout history, from agriculture to the industrial revolution to knowledge workers. It's quite easy for machines and automation to replace recurring and routine tasks, such as assembling products, mowing a lawn, sending out emails, and even driving, doing surgery, and research. All our current positions will shift in the next decades. We will have to learn new skills or even new professions. The positive thing is people will have more time and energy for creative and meaningful work. With that, we end today's video. If you enjoyed our content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Lastly, join in next time for more of such interesting content.